Uh, with that, I'm going to bring on uh, CD4 Representative Michelle Mankey, and we're going to talk a little more about the Liberty Gala. Michelle, thank you for uh, coming on. Hi, Tony. So you were on Mitch Berg's uh, radio show earlier. And I was. We were going to have you come on before Representative Myra, but, you know, that's just how things go with live TV. I, There's I no stopping the, the clock here. So as Dallas knows, there's been a couple times where all of a sudden the cameras have come on and, and we forgot, you know, that uh, <laughs> we are live, but it's just how it works. So tell us more about the Liberty Gala. We played the video at the beginning. We're going to play it again. Yep. Uh, I'm going to get it better squared up in the in the. <laughs> So everyone can see it. But when is the event? What is it? And Liberty Gala is um, this coming Thursday, May 8th. Thursday, May 8th. Okay. It is going to be held at the um, Minnesota Historical Center, which nice. is right downtown oh, St. Yeah. Paul. Great view. Right in the heart of the 4th District. Ab absolutely. And a great view of our capital. I mean, the, the views are absolutely stunning from every aspect of that building and it's a very contemporary uh, modern uh, just a great great venue so we've got all three floors and so it sounds like you're expecting uh, quite quite a few people then to, to go to the gala on May 8th we are hoping um, tickets are on sale now through um, through Monday we've actually extended okay. extended the ticket sales uh, they're $50 which is extremely affordable and which you get what do you get for the 50 bucks? Um, we have entertainment, mm -hmm. just music, uh, hors d'oeuvres, mm -hmm. and all the well, majority of the candidates will be there. So both U.S. Senate and the gubernatorial candidates. Can you list off a few of them that have confirmed that they're going to be there? Um, McFadden. Mike McFadden will be there. Uh, Johnson. Jeff Johnson. Um, offhand, I, c I can't even recall. We've got someone the else. CD4 candidate that. is Sharna going to be there? Sharna, um, our newly endorsed uh, candidate, yep. will be there. We announced that on this show last week, and congratulations Morning. to Sharna Walgren, and uh, you know that that she got endorsed by the fourth mm -hmm. congressional Republicans, a run against Congresswoman Betty McCollum, yep. whom I saw today at the Cinco de Mayo <laughs> I know. Uh, parade. I she was there. She was, and we, we shook hands. And you know, as as Representative Myra said, you know, there's there's a lot of talk about you know how Democrats and Republicans hate each other. That's not the case. You know, mm -hmm. I have a lot of respect for Betty McCollum. It's just we differ on the policies and mm -hmm. the decisions that they're making, which impact all of us here in Minnesota right. and across the country. So, Well, and, and another aspect of it is, too, is this is 4th and 5th Congressional oh, wow. District working together. So they are both coming together. So the newly endorsed candidate um, for CD5, mm -hmm. Doug Daggett, will also be there. That's pretty cool. And so this, this is kind of an unprecedented thing here, having the 4th Congressional and the 5th Congressional mm -hmm. Districts working together to put on this this Liberty Gala, mm -hmm. was uh, Jim Carson was he responsible for a lot of this, or uh, was it kind of a planning of a, m a bunch of the leaders? Or? Yes, we we've had um, a group that has been putting this together, and it's been a joint effort between both the fourth and the fifth. Well, let's uh, let's put on this uh, this video here if we can, and uh, Dallas, if you can uh, pop that up, and we'll get it played. Let's see, I got to reset it. It looks like. Let's see.
I like that. Uh, I like that little <laughs> video there. It's Thank pretty you. cool. Whoever <laughs> made, you. did you make that? Or yeah, I did. You did all the editing yourself too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, question: you, you showed the food there, like so. The food is already pre-made. You made it weeks ago, and are you freezing it? Or no? Uh, so that wasn't actually the food we're going to be eating there. Then. Well, actually, some of it maybe. Oh, really? Yes. Um, bon Appetit is the in-house catering for Minnesota Historical Center, mm -hmm. and so they will be handling all the food. They make it right there. Um, the the day of, so it's it's going to be a great um, menu. Um, of course, there's you know a couple bars here and there throughout the three floors. Um, what about uh, all the candidates that are going to that are going to be there? The governor's candidates and U.S. Senate are they going to be speaking at this event, or are they just going to be mingling with the crowd? How's that going to work? They will have tables there, so that if you want to get um, any of their lit, but mostly it is just for the delegates and alternates to be able to go and, and have some face-to-face -face time with the candidates. Make that final decision, you know, who you're going to be going in uh, to state for and, mm -hmm. and um, really get a, an opportunity to, to that, for that face time. The other thing, too, is that we're right across from the Capitol, and so provided um, they're not in session. Most of the legislation should be able to come over and mingle with everyone. So again, anyone who's there, you know, again, primarily alternates and delegates, um, but it's open to anybody. But it's an opportune time to talk with them and find out what's really happening in session. So you go to that website that's down there, uh, libertygala.com, and you can just go there and you can sign up and you have till Monday in right. order to do it. And then the other important date is the actual event, which is... Thursday, May 8th. Thursday, May 8th, mm -hmm. and starting at what time? It starts at 6 p.m. And, and roughly goes till about 10.30. So, you know, it's not a late event, but it is also creative black tie. So you get to go out and have a little fun. And, you know, and what, what if you don't have a tux? To, <laughs> are you, you don't have that you can't get no, in? No. Wear a tie, is that the bottom line? It's or? creative black tie. Mm -hmm. So it means, you know, just dress up, have fun. Um, you don't need to wear the tux, you, but, you know, if you've got a tux and it's collecting a little dust and you want to get it out, that's great, too. What about those uh, T-shirts that have, like, the, the tux painted on it? Are those acceptable? Well, I guess that is creative, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what about kids? Uh, no children. No children. No children. Yeah, it's it's primarily an adult event for you know just having a little fun before we get back into you know state convention and. Looks like we need a babysitter. If anyone out there wants to watch uh, Maximilian on Thursday, May eighth, uh, we pay uh, minimum wage, so <laughs> <laughs> which has just been raised. So you, yes, you got your increase with that and. Uh, well, Michelle, thank you, uh, thank you for coming on to to explain this. It mm -hmm. looks like it's going to be a great event. It'll be fun. Encourage people to get out there. You know, it's fifty dollars. Mm -hmm, fifty dollars. Fun Thursday. Go meet some candidates. Go eat some food. Mm -hmm. Have a, a cocktail or two and enjoy some good company. So, Absolutely. everybody, go to that website, libertygala.com. Check it out. And uh, if you're free, that'd be a great thing to do. So, Michelle, thank you so much thank for you, uh, coming on. I appreciate that. And uh, we're coming uh, to the end of our show here, and I just wanted to once again thank everyone for tuning in. Uh, we broadcast live every Saturday from 4 o'clock until 5 o'clock. Uh, we bring in a wide variety of guests to come on the show. We've had business owners. We've had uh, politicians, aspiring politicians. We've had elected officials, uh, just a whole number of people. And I'd like to also thank uh, SCC Television Studios uh, for letting us uh, use the studios here. also want to thank SPNN for uh, broadcasting our event live as well. And I want to thank all of you for consistently tuning in and telling your friends and family about the Tony Hernandez Show. Uh, we certainly appreciate that. And just a reminder that we do have a YouTube channel out there as well. It's youtube.com backslash Tony Hernandez Show. Uh, we put every single show up. Uh, Dallas, our tireless producer, uh, the second that our shows are done, he goes home, he compresses the video, and he puts it up on our YouTube channel. So it certainly helps us if you share our videos, if you like our videos, uh, post it to your Facebook page or your Twitter page. Uh, we just uh, uh, thank you so much and appreciate uh, all the viewing audience. And with that, I'll see you next week for our debate on national popular vote allowing you to decide 
May God bless you. May God bless America. Vaya con Dios and happy Cinco de Mayo.